Welcome to Terror Madness. Tonight we are going to take a look at Night of the Demon. This picture is so scary that most people wouldn't dare to go into the woods again. So, if you really don't want to know about this movie, then, <laughs> well, I warned you. Dr. John Holden ventures to London to attend a paranormal psychology symposium with the intention to expose devil cult leader Julian Carswell. Holden is a skeptic and does not believe in Carswell's power. Nonetheless, he accepts an invitation to stay at Carswell's estate, along with Joanna Horry, niece of Holden's confidant who was electrocuted in a bizarre automobile accident. Carswell secretly slips a parchment into Holden's papers that might possibly be a death curse. Recurring strange events finally strike fear into Holden, who believes that his only hope is to pass the parchment back to Carswell to break the demonic curse. This is one of those movies where you watch after 5 minutes in, you just can't take your eyes off it. It's not often that UK produces something visually like Night of the Demon. It is truly one of the best UK horror films and probably one of the greatest horror films ever made. The film is based on a short story by M.R. James. And the movie was directed by Jackus Turner, who worked with producer Val Luton, who produced movies like Cat People, I Walked with a Zombie, and The Leopard Man. Jackus Turner originally planned to shoot the movie without directly showing the monster, but the studio pressured him to add it for commercial reasons towards the end of the filming, which I think weakens the films a bit. By showing the demon in the beginning of the movie, why was that necessary? I think it would be much better with just showing a shadow of it and then wonder what it looked like, so you have to wait till in the end to see it. Today, the effects of the demon would be laughable, but back then it was terrifying. The effects was amazing for its time, and I think it still looks pretty scary. Think of it, if you were walking in the woods and suddenly that thing popped up, I would ship my pants and run away. The actors are very believable and the story is great. It's the kind of horror movie I watch when it's dark and raining outside. So I would recommend that you watch this at night, and the thunder and rain are going wild outside, just so you can get chilled to the bone. 